Alright, so today we're going to play a game called Kona. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Alright, so what we're going to play today is called Kona. It's a new game uh, from a small Canadian studio. And it was actually originally funded on Kickstarter. And basically, it's you're, you play detective. Carl Falberg, Falbert, sorry, and he's been called in by one of his friends who is an industrialist uh, with copper mines and other interests, and apparently he's been in conflict with the local natives of the land, pre-Indians, uh, up in Quebec. This takes place in like the 1970s, so... It's going to have a flashback, kind of retro I don't know, it's going to be interesting. It's supposed to be episodic, kind of like uh, the Walking Dead series or some of the other series from uh, Telltale Games as a comparison. So I think we should just get right into it and see what it's about. I already like the music. We're just gonna get right in and play. This just came out last week, and I just got it today. And we're gonna give it a playthrough. It's supposed to be an hour or two? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but I've never played it before, haven't seen any walkthroughs, any gameplays, anything, so... Uh, let's see what it's about. I'm not sure if it's downloading, running something off of a server. Okay, here we go, we're in. Carl Fulbert sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. Do I have to control this? William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Alright, now we can take over, use the mouse to look around. Well, that's kind of cool, I like that. Puts his arm back if you're like backing up. Alright, WS. And steering was what? So we're just going to drive in here. I suppose I should look both ways. I'm sure I'm not going to get hit by him. They had set up to meet at the general store. Oh. His client's business. Well, actually the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. speed limit is here but you know 30 30 miles an hour seems pretty good when the roads were bad muddy or snowed in it was customary around these parts to close them off but it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway go through here but it looks like there's kind of a lookout up here. I'm just going to take a quick look at the top of this see if there's anything I can see. Already a couple ominous looking totems happening right here. Not sure what I think about that. 
but you know I'm a battle hardened detective so I don't have to worry about these things let's just go to the top see what's up here okay there's a box maybe we can get some hold on let's just take a quick look around see if there's anything I can see can't really see anything north See if there's anything in this box we can do anything with. All right, the E button is to uh, interact with the environment. So we got some pincers. What do we got? Anything? Tools. Fire starters. Can't grab the tools. Okay, a couple fire starters. Can we jump. There's a jump. I wonder if I can just jump off this. seem to let me jump off the edge here. Huh. No. Alright, so we got a fire starter, a couple uh, and some pincers here so we can cut this open. I assume we just cut this. A couple miles. Alright, let's do this. Anything in here? Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Nobody following us. Who would do anything to further his fortunes? And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. Uh-oh. Oh, I couldn't control it there. It took over for me. Nothing for me to control here. I don't know if it's okay. Here we go. A few hours later, Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the. All right, we got the icons in the upper left. Looks like it's getting cold, but I'm coming too. What the heck was that? Was that like a? Was it like a an animal or something? All right, so I'm pretty. Oh, Kona. All right, so now I'm back in control. I'm 
stuck. I don't have any chains. Crap, look at this. Out for a few hours and it's a blizzard. It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Okay, so I'm trapped the here. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. See what we got in here. It was a small locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. Isabel. Defend purity against the winds, the, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Alright, I think we got everything here. My vision is starting to go. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage. So we need to keep moving. Oh crap. His life depended on it. So we're gonna go off the main road. There's probably gonna be something. Oh crap, my vision is getting bad. South Atomic. Atomic. Less accurate run short distances. Looks like a turnaround. Let's get in here as quick as we can. Alright. Alright, we're in. Close this quick. Alright, so, probably need to start a fire, I need wood, okay, hold on, let me just save here before I die a horrible wrenching death, uh, <coughs> uh, I'll go here, oh, it doesn't let me save, alright, well, I'm getting super cold, so, here, I gotta get, I gotta get, Some freaking wood. Freaking wood. There could be useful. Oh, can I pick up another? All right, that's good. That's plenty. Let's get in here before I die. Close. Okay. Get over here quick. All right, I have enough to start a fire. All right, and it auto saves as soon as I got that fire started. All right. So my mind's coming back. My body temp. Apparently my injuries are okay, I'm not sure. I don't know how long this fire lasts, but man, looks like I'm up back to full health, so we're just gonna look around here quick. Kinda cool, okay. Let's see, more matches, fire starters. I get the feeling we're gonna have to Spend a lot of time. Even better than he had hoped, Carl Faubert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. <laughs> Ooh, first aid kit. No, can't grab that. That makes sense. Uh, maybe I can take out the trash. No, I'm not going to. I think that's everything. I don't know. That little icon on the top left with my vision, something came on with that, but I'm not sure what that was. I'm not really sure what the icons are all about just yet. So, I have the chains, I'm warmed up. I think I can try to get my vehicle out of the ditch. Alright, I'm getting cold again. I think I'm going to try to put the chains on, on the truck and get into town. Or I may drive the truck into here and warm up one more time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look, it's got my footprints. Or I hope they're mine. Anything else out here? I don't see anyone. That's pretty cool though, my footprints. Can I walk backwards? Alright, that's kind of cool. I imagine they cover up in time though. Anyway, let's get that guy out of here. I got chains. Get those on. Alright, let's see if I can 
get out of here. Use the heal his wounds. Those wounds. Alright, I'm gonna go back into here, see if I can I think I have a first aid kit in my inventory, in my gear, but I don't really know how that all works if it's automatic or not. Is this can I do anything? Start a fire outside. I don't know if that's for signaling or what. I'm not going to fiddle with that right now. Alright, let's close this one more time. over here warm up a little bit. I'm going to go to the inventory and see if I have anything for my first aid kit. Uh, let's see. I'm just carrying it. Oh, it's got a weight thing. Okay. Alright, that's pretty cool. So, I have first aid kit in my equipment. No, it's probably consumable. Cigarettes. Oh, locked iron box. Let me just look at that quick. Yeah, all right, never mind. Carl, ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. That's what I had, uh... Another entry, but I don't see anything else in there. Let me just save one more time. First aid kit. Gotta take a little look, see around here. My footprints coming down. Looks like they disappear after a while. Not sure where there's a first aid kit. first aid. Oh, maybe there's something in the trunk here. I'm so dumb. Alright, first aid kit. Alright, let's get back to the hut first. Or the stop, way stop. Make sure there's just one set of tracks. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get back here. We're going to get warmed up and then we're going to get going. It's a survival adventure game. I'm going to die over and over and over. Can I take some more logs while I'm at it? I don't think I need any, but you know what? Let's make another fire back here. I don't know if it's for signaling. Gonna set one. Probably using up all my resources for no good reason. I 
All right, we're gonna warm up and we're going to use our first aid kit. All right, it's a consumable. So we'll use it. All right, we're healed up. We're warm. It's time to go. Let's try to get out of the uh, ditch again. Get out of here. Got a fire going here. Might sound like. I suppose no one will see a signal in the middle of a blizzard, so. That might have been a waste of resources. So we're going to go on the main road. Let's see what's up. Basically, I'm trying to drive in the middle of a blizzard here. Slow it down a little bit. Hopefully we'll be heading into town soon, but this blizzard is just nasty. Just want to make sure I don't end up in a ditch. Alright, what's this sign say? Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was... Manistan. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people and ever since the industrial era by the metal mining industry. Alright, so I'm hoping we're getting into more because we got power lines. So I think we're getting into more of a town. I don't know what this is, just on the left here. 1556. Let me just Hamilton step out. A good time to wander about. Hamilton was still out there. I guess we're not gonna stop by and see anybody. straight in town. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Is it close by? Is it? Uh-oh, we got a loading screen. I'm not sure if this has dynamic saving. I mean, up to a, a cloud or something, or for just a loading screen. I'm hitting the brake, but I don't have any control now. When the widescreen bars come up, like the, uh, then you don't have control. All right, so we're in. Look at this, huh? That's supposed to be last chance, la chance, or maybe last chance. Mm -hmm. 